What's up guys, this is R13 and welcome to another Gunpla unboxing and today we will be unboxing the high grade gun of the origin RGM-79HC GM Guard Custom This unit is another GM variant and uh, what makes this unit unique is the shield itself Yeah, and you got your basic beam pistol there and some minor changes in the body itself This is actually... <laughs> quite nice uh, for the GM variants and I'm looking forward to building this unit here so this unit actually was released in 2018 with a price tag of 1800 yen now remember price varies depending on location so this unit is actually a um, well this GM had been based off the GM sniper that's the reason why this unit here the GM sniper is right behind the GM guard custom there Okay, so let's check the side of the box here, shall we? Okay, as you guys can see, here is the built version of uh, the guard custom here and the history of this unit. Okay, I'm just going to read this out loud. This MS with upgraded defensive capabilities was created using the RGM 79SC GM Sniper Custom as its base. Its designation, it's... Uh, Designated Guardian Shield is an armament made of five layers of composite armor consisting of an alloy of uh, four different materials. It is equipped with a beam spray gun and uh, beam daggers that generate short blades. The head is equipped with a visor including a composite sensor. Although the GM Guard Custom is capable of high efficiency, it was difficult to handle and was therefore assigned to high skilled uh, players and here are some more information regarding this unit here and it's actually a lot and sorry my hand is a little bit uh, moving around here okay that shall be enough you guys can just post that and uh, read it out loud I actually don't have enough time today so this unit is actually quite nice get to admit it Okay, now on the other side here, here are some of uh, the special uh, items that this unit have. As far as I'm aware, um, this GM here is the first GM that I have seen so far with uh, the beam dagger. And, ooh, nice. This is actually quite nice. Specifically, the visor itself, it actually moves. And I'm looking forward to building this unit here. Here's your basic information there you go and uh, i'm just i'm just really impressed with the with the overall design i actually do like the white and blue color scheme here as well okay so why don't we go ahead and check the contents here okay so you got one two three four five packagings and then you got your basic assembly instruction here. If you are a beginner, it will give you all, all the information. New kits, uh, new gun plus, actually have this now. And uh, if you actually find the uh, gun plus with Japanese in instructions only, that is the older model. It's becoming more mainstream now to have an English, uh, an English uh, trans translation already included okay this is actually quite nice as always i'm still dealing with lighting issue here <laughs> okay i am really looking forward to building this unit here and there are all the stickers there as well hmm okay just showing you the back part now it's a basic colored uh, instruction as well, which is actually really, really nice. And there's the beam dagger. Um, if I do recall correctly, there's actually another GM variant. I'm not too sure in the Unicorn series that uses a uh, beam dagger as well. But then that is actually a beam saver turned into a beam dagger, lowering the, pow uh, the power. Yeah, that was uh, fighting uh, the Banshee. Well, you guys can check that, uh, watch the whole series. And it's, uh, what I'm talking about is near the end. Okay, so here are all the frames there. 
from the way I'm looking at right now, it doesn't seem that uh, there's a whole lot of, uh, there's actually no parts here that uh, will go to waste except for the polycaps. And almost, I think over half of the polycaps you don't even need. Well, okay, so I retract part of my comment earlier, colored instructions, but the uh, only parts of it are colored. Straight to the point instruction assembly. I'm looking forward to it. Wow. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and check out the, the spruce here. Okay, we're going to start off with the frame A here. I think I put it backwards. Oh well, doesn't really matter. As you guys can see, part of the shield, waist, and the headpiece. And the shield itself actually gives you the opportunity to do some customization. H2 H1 
polycaps. Stickers. Decals. And this is uh, sticker decals. Just to let you guys know. And there you have it guys, the unboxing of the GM Guard Custom from the Mobile Suit Discovery, kind of the origin line. Looking forward to building this unit here. I've already noticed a couple of things uh, uh, for the build here and specifically the armor piece. But you know what, I'm looking forward to building this unit and uh, we'll find out uh, what are the pros and the cons of this unit here. Okay, this is all the time that I got. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click that like button and that subscribe button. Have a good day, good night, afternoon, wherever you are. R13, signing out.